In this video, we're going to talk about finding the direction cosines of a vector in two and three dimensions. So to start off, let's say we have a vector in two dimensions, v here. Then we want to find the angle that it makes with the x-axis, which we're going to call alpha. And then we want to find the angle it makes with the y-axis, which we're going to call beta. We can find both of these angles using the following formulas. Cosine of alpha is going to be equal to vx over the magnitude of the vector and cosine of beta is equal to vy over the magnitude of the vector. Now imagine that we added a third dimension here. This will be our z-axis. In order to find the angle between the z-axis and our vector here, which I'm going to denote with two lines and call theta, we can use a similar formula. Cosine of theta is equal to Vz over the magnitude of our vector. In the next uh, step, what we're going to do is look at some practice problems and see how to calculate this angle. We're going to start by looking at a three-dimensional vector, 4, 5, 2. Again, this is the Vx component, this is the Vy component, and this is the Vz component. So we want to find the angle of this vector from each of the axes. And this is my z-axis that I did not label. Um, the formulas that we are going to use, cosine alpha is equal to vx over the magnitude of v. Cosine beta is equal to vy over the magnitude of v. And finally, cosine of theta is equal to vz over the magnitude of our vector. Okay, so all of these require this magnitude value, so let's figure that out first. If you saw the last video, you know that finding the magnitude is as simple as using this formula, the square root of vx squared plus vy squared plus vz squared. And we're going to plug in our values here. This is going to be 4 squared plus 5 squared plus 2 squared. This is square root 16 plus 25 plus 4, and this is square root of 45. We can simplify this a bit to the square root of 9 times the square root of 5, and that goes to 3 times the square root of 5. Okay, so this is our magnitude. Now, let's come down here and plug in our values. So Vx is 4, and it's going to be over 3 times the square root of 5. If we plug this into a calculator, this becomes 5, 0.596. I'm going to move this all over a tiny bit so I can fit in the angle. And then if you do the inverse cosine of 0.596, you get 53.40 degrees. So that's our alpha. Now let's do the same thing for cosine of beta. Here we're going to put 5 on top. Our magnitude is 3 over square root of 5, or 3 times square root of 5. Plug this into a calculator, we get 0.745. And when we take the inverse cosine of this, we get 41.81 degrees. And that is beta. And if we're looking at our plot here, that's again this angle, the angle between the vector and the y-axis. Okay, let's do the final one here. Cosine of theta, we're going to have 2 over 3 square root of 5. This is equal to 0.298. And taking the inverse cosine of this number gives us 72.65 degrees. And that is equal to theta. Sometimes you can be given the magnitude and direction cosines of a vector, and then you need to find that vector. So for this example, we're asked to find the vector v that has magnitude 32, and direction cosines, cosine alpha equals 5 eighths, and cosine beta equals negative 3 over 8. So I'm going to start by writing out that the magnitude of our vector equals 32, and then I'm going to write out the formulas for finding cosine alpha and cosine beta. Cosine alpha is equal to vx over the magnitude of our vector. 
and cosine beta is equal to Vy over the magnitude of our vector. Now we can rearrange each of these formulas to solve for Vx and Vy. In this first case, Vx equals cosine alpha times the magnitude of the vector. And for the second one, we have Vy is equal to cosine beta times the magnitude of the vector. Now we can solve each of these separately. This one is going to be cosine of alpha, which is 5 eighths times 32. And this comes out to be 20 equal to Vx. And for this second one, we can do negative 3 eighths, which is cosine of beta, times 32. And this is going to be negative 12 equals Vy. So our vector that we're dealing with is 20 negative 12.